that fixed income still plays a key critical role within portfolios for two main reasons. One, correlation over the long-term horizon still remains negative between equities and bonds. Secondarily, this was t- tried and tested during the first quarter of this year, even during an environment where interest rates globally were exceptionally low. Fixed income did very well in protecting 60-40 portfolios or asset allocation portfolios broadly during the downturn in the first quarter, even despite the fact that the starting points for yields going into the crisis were at low levels. So just because starting point evaluations are low for fixed income, it doesn't mean that fixed income can't rally. We're always thinking about how can we enhance returns across our fixed income portfolios. And there's two key ways that we're focused on doing so. The first is really focused on active management. And we think that increasingly in a low yield environment, active management is going to play an increasingly important role in terms of driving alpha within portfolios. Secondarily, we also think that a well-diversified and risk-mitigating fixed income strategy should also be complemented with assets outside of traditional fixed income. Fixed income is not only AAA or very highly graded fixed income government bonds. There's a whole array of fixed income assets going from, you know, high grade corporate financials, CLOs, uh, securitized emerging market debt, high yield. There's like a really big family. Uh, And you can even talk about, you know, multi asset within fixed income. And therefore, for those who think that, you know, safe government and core fixed income might not be um, attractive enough, even though we think it still will be a robust diversifier in a multi-asset portfolio, there's a whole uh, array of things to go about and discover. By complementing active management with a more diversified toolkit, you can drive alpha within fixed income portfolios. 